Emmet is a high-level surface-to-surface missile with unique potentials. Also, about the name of this missile, some Lebanese media stated the reason for naming the most accurate long-range missile in Iran in honor of the martyr Emmet Mugnia. One of Iran's most significant achievements in missiles is the Emmet ballistic missile, which was unveiled in October 2016. At the time of its unveiling, this liquid-fueled missile was one of the first Iranian long-range missiles with a new warhead equipped with steering blocks for flight and error correction in the final stage. The Islamic Republic of Iran has identified the U.S. Navy and aircraft carriers as a severe threat and has taken various measures to counter it. One of the measures in this regard is to increase the range and accuracy of ballistic missiles to keep U.S. aircraft carriers off the coast of Iran. Their position must be identified to intercept fixed targets and then the missile fired at the targets. Still, in cases such as an aircraft carrier on which the target is moving, one must first intercept and predict the target's trajectory and then fire a ballistic missile. Moving targets are tracked by very long-range radars, long-range reconnaissance drones, and electronic surveillance systems. Achieving an accuracy of fewer than 10 meters to target different targets, especially moving targets such as aircraft carriers, is an important feature. The Emmet missile can move to a very high altitude with its propulsive power and then, with the help of gravity, continue its course towards the target in the form of a free fall and then hit it with high accuracy. Emmet missile, as a great success of Iran's defense industry, is a different design from of Kadra missile, and it can be said that this missile is a kind of Shahab-3 with a guidance system, but its conical nose is different from these two missiles. The Emmet missile has several features that have caused concern among Israeli and U.S. military officials after its unveiling. The first is the high speed of the Emmet missile, which enables it to successfully pass through the anti-missile systems of the Zionist regime called Aero-3 or Pakin-3 and destroy the intended targets in the occupied territories. One of the essential capabilities of the Emmet ballistic missile is the ability to pass through the anti-missile systems of the Zionist regime. These systems are designed to destroy ballistic missiles before they hit the target, However, according to the tests performed, the Emmet missile can pass through them. The second feature of this missile is a warhead, which makes it possible to maneuver and guide the warhead until it hits and destroys targets in this missile. This feature has caused the error coefficient of this missile to reach below 10 meters. The Emmet missile has created a significant leap in Iran's missile industry due to its mobile launch system carrying ready-to-launch missiles. Also, the liquid fuel of this missile is a kind of improvement in Iran's missile engines. The Emmet missile launch pit is designed to be used under any circumstances. One of the essential factors in better control and guidance of missiles is the variety of launch platforms, which is considered for this missile in a portable and fixed manner. Therefore Iran is not only making progress with its missile systems, but these missiles could be capable of evading enemy missile defense system. The ability of the missile to evade the ballistic missile defense systems of its adversaries could put the US's European Phased Adaptive Approach EPA, system at threat. The US under the EPA has decided to field its missile defense system and related components in NATO countries to be able to counter the Iranian ballistic missile threat. While the new Iranian ballistic missile is a liquid-fuel propelled missile, which is technically hazardous to prepare, many other states such as Russia and China have also concentrated on liquid-fueled intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBM. This could be because in comparison to the solid-fueled missiles, the liquid-fueled missiles have a higher launch weight to throw weight ratio, which provides the missile with a longer range. This could precisely be a reason why Iran could, in future, concentrate on liquid-fueled missiles for its ICBMs, should it develop the same. However, this week's missile test by Iran will certainly draw international criticism from Israel and also from the US. While many analysts could suggest including the issue of ballistic missiles into the nuclear deal, it is only advantageous to not to include the same in the deal.
the nuclear deal does not contain any restrictions for Iran on the development of ballistic missiles per se. It is only the UNSC that imposes an embargo on Iran's conventional weaponry development. Therefore, such missile tests should not hinder the progress of the nuclear deal that has been much lauded by the international community and truly upholds the essence of the non-proliferation treaty. If Iran's ballistic missile development program is to be checked, there should be separate regional framework to ban missile development in the West Asian region. There have been reports that the Iranian parliament has approved the nuclear deal with the US and that the deal has also been approved of by the Guardian Council of the Constitution. Ever since the deal was finalized in July 2015, Iranian hardliners have been apprehensive of the conventional arms embargo imposed on Iran, which also includes an embargo on the development of ballistic missiles. One of the probable reasons why the missile was test-fired just prior to the approval of the nuclear deal was probably to prove a point that under no circumstance can the nuclear deal hinder Iran's progress with its ballistic missile program. This is also clearly evident from Degan's statement where he said, we don't ask anyone's permission to enhance our defense power or missile capability and will firmly pursue our defense plans, particularly in the field of missile, Emmet is one of the outstanding examples of this. Despite UNSC sanctions on the country since 2003, Iran has already progressed with its ballistic missile development program and its cruise missile development program. Earlier this year, Iran test-fired the Saumur, a sophisticated long-range cruise missile, while the nuclear negotiation process was ongoing. Both missiles are expected to enter service by 2016.